I'm just saying, no, in, in, in my own knowledge, they ask that only because they'd be worried more about themselves. Like, just say if a girl got a high body count and it's more so it's not about how many people they slept with. It's, it's more about them going places and people knowing the woman that they're trying to be with. You understand? Like, I, 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 it's like, it's like, say if I go somewhere and I know she's been with a lot of people and uh, now everywhere I go, I'm nervous about some, some guy coming up and saying, Hey, wait, it, well, Oh, Hey, such and such, such and such. You know what I mean? So and then, that's crazy too. Can, can you me? That's crazy. Right. So like, first of all, I don't think about other men when I'm with a woman. That's never been a thing I've thought about. You know what I'm saying? The other side of it, I think you're right, but I think mostly it's about like, they don't know if they measure up. Like if they're gonna like they're thinking about like the ex experiences that she's had, like are is, are they gonna be like my friend in the comments said like the the idea this irrational thought where they need to be in the top three, you know what I mean? I need to be number one forever. I need to be the best yeah, she yeah. ever had. Kind of, like this this fantasy they have, and it gets bothered by the fact that she's been with other people had experiences. It's just insecurity, right. bro. Right. And the lady getting in the right. top let me, three. Oh, let me, sorry. Let me ask you a question. Though. Like right this. Say say if you had a girl, and every time you went out to dinner, some guy came up and say, "Oh, hey, such and such, a newer." Would you get, wouldn't you get tired of that? No, nah, I don't care. I'm with her now. I'm the winner. Like, I mean, some, some, I mean, I, I mean, it's, it's not that though. I don't judge her because of it, but everywhere, every time we go somewhere, I don't feel like somebody coming up talking to my woman, say, hey, 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 hey. And everywhere we go what somewhere. Known for that reason? Some, like, the, some, people, didn't some that? people, some people don't like that. It's, it's not that I have a problem with the body count thing, but like, that's just in, in general. Like, even if she didn't have a high body count and somebody came up and bothered every time y'all went out somewhere, would you, wouldn't you get like, yeah, what, if just, what if she's just a popular bit, person? So, so, she's so a the, popular so, person. Hold on, hold on. The answer is no. I'm not going to get aggravated because I'm not insecure. I, I am confident in who I am as a man. And if my woman is an attractive girl, she's going to get a she's going to get attention from other guys. I, I should know that. No, that's not what I'm saying. Like okay. you know, as a, as a human being, I get aggravated with some stuff after a while. Like if some like if your kid just just say if your 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 kid keep hitting you in the head with a bottle. After a while, you're gonna get aggravated, right? Like that's what men. This this is what men worry about or guys worry that, about right? because they worry about them somebody bothering their woman all the time when there's a high body count, like her going somewhere and knowing everybody. So, so, so that's what guys need to fix. They need to stop worrying about that. I know and, that. Yeah, that, no, I understand this. That's what I'm just saying. I'm just trying to make a point of saying this is why, because they'd be worried about it. And then yeah. most men start thinking crazy things like, oh, you know this guy from where? So, hold, on, hold, on, hold on, Here's the thing, brother, real quick, real quick, right? If you know your value, you, need, you know what you, you bring to the table, serious. right? And I'm going to shut up real quick. I'm going to shut up real quick. But if you know your value and what you bring to the table, you're the winner. She chose you, big dog. Who cares? Yeah, no, I'm good. I'm good. Like, I've been married for 20 something years. I'm just saying in general, I've seen it. I've seen it a lot. Hold on. Let, fellas, I want to give the ladies some oxygen here. We're we're kind of pushing Wait, them out. Sorry, sorry. I apologize. So, ladies, if you have something you want to say. When I was dating as a young woman in high school and right after, I dated a boy, <laughs> and he got really irritated. He would always take me to his side of town. It's one of those places. And he would get so annoyed that I had friends, all kinds of different friends. I played in two sports. I played four instruments. I was really good at school. I'm a nice person. Of course, I'm gonna know a lot of people. I've come in contact and I have good relationships with all those people. That should reassure you that if somebody, I mean, if the guy is like trying to pull you over and say, oh, she's got some kind of disease, that would probably give me pause. But just because I know a lot of people and I can talk to a lot of people. I'm a good person. Why are you irritated with me? He was irritated with you because he was a guy. He was a selfish short term thinker who was worried about himself. He wasn't worried about who you were as a person. He was insecure in his ability to retain your attention, right? Men do not act like that. Men are confident and capable of retaining the lady's attention because they are confident and capable of of being a man. They're not they're not insecure and worried about or jealous or controlling or manipulative or he was gonna try and, he was gonna try and like have her like take all her people like you know what I mean uh, uh, alienate you know what I mean if you're mad that they have friends that like you're the guy who's gonna try and control her and alienate her from all her friends and family and lock her in the house you know what I mean like those guys are weird. That's why. That's why I dumped him in a heart after a couple months. Uh, Kat, did you have anything you want to say? Uh, so real quick, uh, to, real quick, back to that top three. If you want to be in my top three, romance my mind.
make me relaxed, make me comfortable, yes. make me like pay attention to my body cues when we're having sex. Right. Like, notice that i'll have a headache and do something extra that you don't have to do kind of thing that will get you in the top three every single time now on to the next point that he was making about being out and having someone approach your woman i'm going to preface this with i am a deconstructed ex-evangelical okay and the way that i was brought up was around this idea of being a proverbs 31 wife which means go out into the city carry respect with you make your own wares carry conversation and be able to carry on business right <laughs> To do those things, you have to ingratiate you yourself to the people of your community, but also the people of your partner's community, right? And how you do that is FaceTiming with those people when they come up and say hi to you. That's how you, you connect and make those bonds, right? And you need those because we live in a society and sometimes you got to network when a job changes or when a housing issue comes up and you need to be able, able to have those connections. And my third point, the third point I have is if you're gonna treat me like an object and I don't want to be, but if I'm gonna be objectified as a trophy, treat me like a trophy. T teams don't get to keep their trophy every year because they play the same game. You don't get to keep the Heisman every year because you play the same game every year. You get to get the Heisman every year because you watch your competition, you know what's needed to win, you deliver, you practice, and you work through issues together cohesively and as a team so you know objectify me like a trophy fine fucking treat me like a trophy get your paper box from amazon get your ebook bundle deals get your audio books all those buttons are in the link tree in my bio